All right, ladies and gentlemen. I don't even know what the date is, but it's sometime in October. It's my birthday month. October 2nd, maybe? We are at the George Fazio Golf Course here in Hilton Head, Palmetto Dunes Complex. Hole's playing 405, and the dude said, hit it in the fairway. So let's see what we got. Exactly. He said it, folks. Got people doing the work over there. It's going way left. Yeah. That definitely looks fairway. I'd say you'll be getting Fazio today. Yeah. Need a little crack. That'll work. It's off to the right, but I think it'll stay. All right, here we are on hole one, George Fazio course, Palmetto Dunes complex. Given Alex Bailey, it's only playing 260 with the wind. So you shimmy do that shimmy. I like the shimmy. The girls love that. They used to love it. I don't know if they still do. All right, well, let's hit you a good one right here. said fairways only all right hit another one all right we're holding the pose all right holding the pose Okay, he's hit that pretty good down the left-hand side. Good drive. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Jose Martinez with the phone again. Let's see what uh, Chris Bowman can do with the ball. Par on the first. He's got the par on the first. He even right now, you know, Jose Martinez got the got the glow six on the last hole. Oh my goodness, this one is straight as crap. Okay, we'll take a straight ball. That's straight as me right now. All right, here we are on hole two, Palmetto Dunes, George Fazio. Evan coming off a six on the first hole, but it's only playing 320 for him right here, par five. So good swing here, could get him there in two. And he has hit this one down the left-hand oh. side with a draw, but it should be good. Should be nice. I'm go left today. All right, Gavin on the par five. He's got 60 yards left. He's going to flop this up onto the green into the hole for an eagle. No, that is killed way over the green. Okay, we're back. Um, this is hole three. You know, Fran Jenkins just sent you a message. Did she? Mm-hmm. You have to check that after after you hit this top this in the water here. Just 365, so it's a good little iron down the fairway. It's supposed to be the hardest hole in the course. It looks pretty straight. It's pretty easy if you hit a good tee ball. Oh, that's bunker. Nope, that's left of the bunker. Oh, that's rough. Should be all right. Nothing impressive, but it's okay. <laughs> all righty, giving Alex Bailey hole I'm going number for three. An old ad, albatross. He's going for an albatross. This hole is only playing 215 yards. It is straight away, and all we got to do is hit one solid. Do you need to hit my driver, or you need something bigger? I mean, good hard hit. I mean, if you say so. All right, here we is with Given Alex Bailey on hole 
number three, playing 215 yards. He is going for an albatross, he says. But you're going to have to swing hard, catch it solid, and you never know. You just never, ever know. Wind seems to be blowing a little right to left, maybe a little bit in her face, so it's not going to be easy. But 215 yards, that's very attainable. Good. Mm. Stop going left. Sit down. Yeah, he's hit it into that I'm left tree over there. All right, he is going to reload. This time he's going to push out a little bit so he can not keep pulling it left. Just start it right and let it draw back in. Oh, baby, it's got a little cut on it. It's down the right-hand side. He's going towards that right bunker way out there. Not too bad. I suck. Hey, it's me, chest pole, Uncle Slam, Slam. You can call me anything, but you know, I'm, I'm coming off like below under par by like 17 with back to back to back to back 94s so i suck okay all right this is hole number four it's a par three about 185 i think Oh man, did that have just a ton of leftness on it. A ton of leftness. Oh, that's bonkered. It is in the sand. I'm at the beach. I'm in my own territory. Alrighty, here's hole number four. It's only playing 85 yards. Get close up to that. 85 yards. So. Let's get a hole in one. I've already got a close up. I want to see a good swing. On a good swing that's aimed at the flag, your feet are pointed towards the target. It's a smooth swing, so whatever club you need, hit that one. But we want to hit it solidly. He's hit it good and straight, but I don't think that's going to be enough. Yeah, that's way short. Should have gone with the wedge. All right. Oh, five. Yeah, power four. It's about 320 yards. Um, yeah. Um, <laughs> Chris Paul, as you can see, he's gained a little weight since the last time y'all saw him. He's up there in about the 430s now. So the 400s. Dude, that sounded like a baseball bat. And his tee landed right next to my foot there. Right down it's the right in the fairway. All righty, here's hole number five. It's only playing like 175 yards. So a uh, little par four for him. Should be a simple little driver. Good smooth swing, catch it solidly. And then he might be just uh, tapping in for an eagle. Hold that pose. He just blocked it right. And he's hit some cart back. And he's on the other tee box. All right, Gavin is going to reload. Give us a shimmy. Give something for the girls out there to be happy about. Yeah, yeah. Next time we need some bare booty, but not this time. Drive the green before we see bare booty. I'm 
want to see what's down there. No, we don't. All right, how about a good swing here? I mean, the Chris Paul One fans are expecting something. They saw something out of you pre-COVID. I was pre-COVID. No, but, you know, you've got three years of more experience. Ooh, he's caught it solid, but he's pulled it left. Not the one. Touch my shot, how about that? Yeah. Um, this is uh, his birdie shot. Second shot. Third yeah. Birdie. Second shot to um, Eagle. Going for Eagle right now. He's got this perfect little straight shot right here about one what? 125. 125. It's, ooh, it's got a nice curve on oh, it. Oh, he left it short. Six. Short. Yeah, that was a pretty shot, but man, I was a one stick shot. All right. He says he went to hole in one. I highly doubt it without this bunker. Oh, bunker? I didn't even see bunkers until you mentioned it. All I see is hole. I bet you do. You can hear it, you just can't see it. True. Ah. I doubt that's a hole in one. Left again. All right, we are on hole number six, playing about 115 yards to the hole. Kevin has an elected a seven iron. Because 10 cup uses seven irons no matter where he is. And he's got 10 cup quality brain. Mm -hmm. This is a pretty golf shot. Be right. Ooh. <laughs> 10 cup quality shots and brain. What do you got to say to the camera? I, I poked my tee on that. All right, after Gavin hit a great seven iron from 115, he has now got this putt right here for his birdie and to qualify for the U.S. Junior Amateur. I saw a figure eight in that swing. So I had to delete that. But anyways, um, this is holding on by seven, I think. He's elected the hybrid. So we are all scared for our lives. Yes, I told y'all we'd be scared for our lives. Man, did that thing just laser left. I think I don't think it's hit anything. It's in the rough, it's, I it's think. Okay, but not well. Not well struck. Not at all. Badly struck. All right, here we are in hole number seven. That was a T flicked. Uh, it's about no playing about 235 to the hole, but it's into the wind, so there's no way to carry it all the way there. So Gavin's going to hit a hybrid. There is a creek in front, so I think he's going to have to hit this about 170 yards to be in good shape, but I don't know. Not 100%. Good smooth swing. Oh, that was a very beautiful swing. That was two good swings in a row with a lot of smoothness to it <laughs> okay we got part 19 wow that's the longest hole i've ever seen 392 so basically 400 yards is it a par four yeah ain't no way this is a par four i mean it's a par four when you're gonna hit it like this do you laugh? It was loud and it's kind of going left. I think it'll be good though. Maybe roughed. Not bad. Yeah, not bad. 
Incentive package alert. Incentive package alert. His eyes have lit up. He's been hitting the ball better last couple of holes. So we are on hole eight, par four, 290 yard par four. Okay, 25 bucks for a par, 50 bucks for a birdie, 100 bucks for an eagle. And then of course the opportunity to double on the last hole. So, it all starts with a good tee ball here. And if you use your little smooth swing, should be no problem. But we're going to get them all on camera up until at least uh, you don't have a chance. 290 yard par four. Hit you one right down the middle of the fairway. Got some money riding on the line here. He's blocked it right. This is going in the trees. Can anything go straight today? All right, here he is on hole eight. He has left himself 120 yards, but he has got tree trouble. He is going to have to go low and keep it under and in between those trees because the pin is over by the bunker. It's just a tough shot, but he can do it. Just got to keep it low and get it to run up. And he did keep it low. Okay, he's going to be right up there where he can flop one up and make a par. All right, here we are on hole eight. Gavin went ahead and hit without me getting it on camera, but he stuck it to about seven feet, four par on a 45 yard chip shot. So if he makes this putt, he's $25 richer. And then he'll get an opportunity to play for double or nothing on that last hole. You got to concentrate on making this one first. So if I miss you, are we doing another one? Yeah. You got to make this one first. And, oh, and it broke left. He was talking trash halfway from that putt. I hate golf. All right, ladies and gentlemen, our final hole, hole number nine. 363. 363. It's going to be an all day down the middle tee ball just to give me an opportunity to make a birdie. Because if I make birdie, Gav said he'd give me 100 bucks. Mm hmm. I definitely said that. Mm -hmm. It's a good ball. It's kind of hovering off to the right. But I think it should be pretty awesome. All right, that's a great start to that birdie Gavin's going to give me. 100 bucks. That's one. That's one. <laughs> All right, incentive package alert. In the face. Hole number. Oh, it's not going to be easy. You got to earn it. Oh, you gotta earn this. It's no no cakewalks. Yeah, it should be out. Number nine, final hole. We got a man down. Don't worry about him. He has an incentive package alert coming. Who incentive package? All right, so 240 yards into the wind. Wind's blowing pretty good, so he's he had his best chance last hole. But two good shots will put him in position. But same scenario, 25 for a par, 50 for a birdie, 100 for a hole out. Hit you a good tee ball. That's where it starts. Don't be put behind trees. And he's blocked this way right. This is going into the other fairway. How does it do that? That is getting Fazio'd. Okay. He's making me record this because he thinks it's going to be like a perfect shot. But he made me record it a couple holes back and it was short. But he says he's got enough stick this time. Oh my goodness. Ooh, it's not bad. Not good. bad. See, that's why I had you put on camera. That's why I had you put on camera. Camera time. Camera time. Camera time. 
All righty, here he is on uh, the last hole. It's his second shot. He's 100 yards to the hole. And he has got tree trouble. Do what? What is that make it? 100 bucks if you make it. But he's going to have to go low with that little cut. He did it with the other last hole. He hit the uh, five iron. That's what he's going with. But you got to give it a little extra. So just keep it low. Cut it a little bit. A little outside in takeaway. I mean, you never know. You just never know. Ooh. Oh, no. No. Good shot. But he caught the trees. Welcome to golf. All right, here it is. Hole number nine, third shot. Must get it up and down. Just that's Chris Paul up there. Uh, must get it up and down for a four and 25 bucks. Oh, that should work. Come Not on. bad. Not bad. He's got a shot. He's got a putt at it. So we're going to see what that short like game that looks like. Push it at least earn 50 bucks there. Stop looking. Okay, we got a look at <laughs> Is that the one I wanted? <laughs> All right, here we are. Final hole, his putt. He's got probably 18 feet, four par, and 25 bucks. Do not leave it short. Knock it in the hole. You might even be able to get one of those little play toys that you like. See something. For 25 bucks. He's got it going. He's tracking, but he's going to come up just short. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to 